the equation 2x minus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to k has only one real solution. Find the value of k. So whenever you have an equation, uh, a good practice is to underline the keywords. So this is has this is the keyword. So has only one has only real solution. So the keyword, the most important thing is real solution. So this is a keyword. So when you expand this, this is a quadratic equation. So basically what they are saying is this quadratic equation has only real solution. Has only real solution. Okay, now I hope you know that a quadratic equation can have either one root. Okay, so let me write that. So there are three options. It's you can have one solution or one root. This is one option, one solution. Or you can have two solution or you can have no solution. These are the three situations. You can have no solution. No solution. Now, no solution does doesn't mean that it does uh, doesn't have a solution. This, in fact, means no real solution. No real solution. Now, so yeah, this means no real solution. That means this these two together means it has real solution. Has real solution. Okay, now again, there's one more information that you need to understand or know. Now this, in this case, if it has one solution, your b squared minus 4ac has to be equal to zero. And in this case, your b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero. And in this case, b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So b squared minus 4ac is the determinant and abc are the uh, numbers associated with x squared x and without x. I hope you know that. Okay, so basically, so if you want to write this together, this you can say, well, your b squared minus 4ac has to be greater than or equal to zero. When you club this together, we can write that. So let me write that. So basically this means has only one, has only real solution means we can say b squared minus 4ac is either greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so this is where you start. And this is the knowledge that you should have to start the problem. So let's expand this. So let's write the equation again. So what is given is 2x minus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to k. So if you expand this, this is 2x squared uh, plus 8x using foil minus 3x minus 12 is equal to k. Now let's simplify this. So this is 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 minus k is equal to 0. So now this has made, I have made this as a quadratic equation and comparing with the standard form which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. We can say a is something, b is something, and c is something. So you can pause this video and do the rest if you can. Okay, so what can we write? What is a? a is two. What is b? b is five and your c is minus 12 minus k, minus 12 minus k. So let's put these three in this equation. So we can say this implies uh, b squared, so we can say 5 squared minus 4 times a is 2 times 
negative 12 minus k is greater than or equal to 0. So this implies this is 25. Uh, if you take the, if you factor the minus out, so this would become plus 8 times 12 plus k is greater than or equal to 0. So this implies 25 plus, uh, what is this? Uh, okay, so this is expanding this. This is 28, 28 times 12 is how much? 12 times 8 is 96 plus 8k is greater than or equal to 0. So this is this is 96, so 96, this I'm taking is 100, 125, 125, uh, okay, 125, and take away 4 is 124, 121, yeah, okay, yeah, plus 8k is greater than or equal to 0. This implies taking away 121 from both sides. 8k is greater than equal to minus 121. You could have done this in a different way. Okay, so this means k is greater than equal to minus 121 over 8. So let's use a calculator. Uh, menu run minus 121 divided by 8 is minus 15.125. So your k, we can say k has to be greater than equal to minus 15.125. Okay, now just to check or understand the real, the real understanding happens from here, I believe, that this is a mechanical process. If you have this knowledge, you can do this, and uh, uh, this is not great. But what does this mean? So this means if k is greater than or equal, so this has got two implications or two results. k can be either equal to 15, negative 15.125 or k can be greater than negative 1 point, negative 15.125. That means if k, in other words, in a negative sense, if k is less than negative 15.125, you will not have real solution. So let's check it. So let k, think about a value which is less than negative 15.125. Well, so let's take k is, say k is negative 16. Negative 16 is less than negative 15.125. So what will happen? So what's the equation? So this equation changes to 2x squared minus, sorry, plus 5x, minus 12, minus negative 16 is equal to 0. So let me use a different color so that you can see the difference. So this becomes 2x squared plus 5x, and this is minus 12 plus 16 is plus 4. So this is a quadratic equation. Now what we are saying is, if k is less than negative 15.125, that is, there is no real solution. That means you will get a non-real or a complex solution. So if you have this solution, you will not have a real solution. What does that mean graphically? So let me graph it. I'm using a graphic calculator to graph this. So let me go to graphs and type in the equation 2x squared plus 5x plus 4 and see what happens. So can you see this is, this has got no real solution. That means this line, this can never become zero. We are saying this equation is equal to zero is not possible. There are no real solution. But later on you will learn complex solution. There are complex solutions. So, in other words, if you take the determinant of this, this would be less than zero. 